Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 2nd, 2022. Yesterday, we had another nice little rally as we continue to relieve uh, the selling of January. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, from our low just a week ago on Monday, we are up more than 2,200 points in the Dow. Unfortunately, we are slamming our head or getting ready to slam our head into some significant upside resistance. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. We have experienced a really nice rally but unfortunately we have stretched ourselves out here pretty significantly in the short term. Now we have uh, we had a, a nice round of bullish earnings um, during the night. There was a little bit of a mix in there, but pretty nice round of bullish earnings last night, and um, that is inspiring us to push even higher still. But let's take a look at these charts and what that means. If I go over here and we take a look at our moving averages, notice that this morning our pop up this morning is going to push us right up into a group of declining moving averages, and we will be banging our head right into some very significant price resistance levels at the same time. So the question we have to ask ourselves is will we have enough bullish energy to push on through or will we pop our head into that, smash our head into that actually after such a big rally and see a little bit of profit taking and a little bit of pullback coming in the market. Let's keep in mind we are quickly also approaching this downtrend here in the chart. So we have kind of this triple whammy of uh, moving average resistance, price resistance in the chart, and downtrend that all come into play right in here. So we'll want to watch that closely as we try to push up. This would be a very logical area where the bulls or excuse me, where the Bayers could line up for a little bit of a defense. Let's take a look at our SPY, and we're going to continue to use these moving average charts for this. As you can see, SPY also approaching that declining 50-day moving average. Our shorter-term averages have already pushed down through there, and we will also be slamming into resistance here in the chart that's pretty substantial, so we'll want to keep that in mind. That 50-day moving average is declining pretty sharply, um, so we'll want to watch that and it would be logical to assume after such a big rally in such a short period of time that there might be some reason to take some profits or even catch just a little rest here in the market um, as we try to push up through these levels. Let's take a look at the QQQ. NASDAQ very much the same but is actually weaker than the other indexes. We're getting a nice pop here today because of AMD and Google earnings. Um, after the bell yesterday. But let's keep in mind we're still significantly away from that 200 day moving average and we have got ourselves some really big resistance levels in this chart that we're going to have to overcome to push on through um, up there. So if we see a little bit of selling don't be all that surprised if that comes into the market. Just a little bit of resting pullback um, would actually be a healthy thing for the market. As a matter of fact, if I had my way, I'd love to see us kind of go sideways for a week or two and actually stop this big whipping price action move and put in a resting pattern in here that gives us something to build off of. Can't say that I'm going to get that. In fact, I rarely get what I want, but we'll want to watch that closely. We want to also keep in mind that we will be challenging downtrends. Now we got this little downtrend right in here, but probably this one here is the most likely to engage um, here today. So watch that carefully as we approach these downtrending levels in the charts. And then the Russell. IWM has um, rallied up nicely and one of the good things here just yesterday we finally um, we broke through that level here. We've been struggling here in IWM quite a bit but let's keep in mind that as we come back up in IWM we are going to run into a huge level of price resistance in the chart and 
our 50 day moving average has declined underneath the 200 day moving average and we're going to also run into that technical resistance right in this area here so watch that carefully as we push up there may be reason to be thinking about if you're in long trades to be watching that closely to take some profits and remove that risk um, as we continue to push into these resistance levels of the chart. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Now our economic, well, actually I'm jumping ahead. Let's take a look at our VIX. <laughs> Our VIX here, as you can see, had a nice little pullback um, yesterday. So the good news is we dropped, finally got down below that 25 handle. But we will want to keep in mind that this 20 area in the chart is actually a pretty significant price level in that VIX. And we still have this upside trend here to deal with um, in the VIX. So we'll see how we uh, manage this today, but we'll watch that area, that 20 area here in the chart and that resistance or that support if we were to catch a little bit of profit taking or a little bit of pullback in the market we could bounce off of that after this gap up open so watch carefully here it's just we're not out of the woods here yet i know it feels really really good to get that relief rally but we also want to be careful with our chasing to the upside let's take a look at our t21 22. Now our T2122, this is a problem for us and this is the thing um, I, I, I really don't like when a market just zooms in directions like this. It's a highly emotional market and that adds additional danger if we do catch a pullback. Now this morning we're going to be gapping up on that positive earnings news. So my guess is we will be gapping up into this bearish reversal zone up here. Notice guys that we can hang up here for a little bit but typically when we zoom straight up we have a pretty negative reaction back to the downside so you want to be watching for that potential i'm not i'm not trying to predict that that's going to occur i'm just saying we have to be watchful of that and just not put blinders on we have rallied a long ways a little bit of profit taking a little bit of pullback would not be out of the question so let's watch that carefully up in here for that potential so we are going to gap up a little bit this morning on that bullish energy that could push us up here and so let's keep watching for that whipsaw or that reversal that could occur near those price resistance levels of the index charts and that 50-day moving average declining and that's across all four indexes let's take a look at our t2108 now what's nice yesterday is we did have a recovery here in our t2108 the number of stocks above the 40-day moving average but i gotta tell you with the amount of points the number of points these huge moves that we have made up uh, to the upside i gotta tell you i'm not all that impressed with the results here in t2108 notice that we're pushing into this price resistance in here we've got significant price resistance levels above and our downtrend in here is still really strong so watch that carefully improvement yes but not enough to just make me think oh man the all clear has been sounded here so watch carefully for that potential and then t2107 is really going to show pretty much the same thing and actually maybe even a little more weakness here um, than we see in the 40-day moving average. Notice we have a very big level of price resistance right in here, and we didn't even quite make it up there yesterday with these big point moves. So we are still oversold in the longer term, but in the short term, we may have we may have gotten a little bit carried away in this rally to the upside, and we may be pushing into some resistance levels in the chart. So let's watch carefully for that um, as we push on up. And last but not least, T2101, which is the absolute breadth of the market. Notice that we pulled back um, in that absolute breadth as we rally, and that's a pretty typical thing that occurs. But we could catch some of these price support levels in here on that absolute breadth and start pushing back up if we do see that little bit of selling come in or a little bit of rest coming in the market. So just watch carefully for that. And then if we take a look at our 
um, earnings calendar today, our, our um, excuse me, our economic calendar today, we have a few things that we're going to want to be paying attention to. Um, we have already had this morning, we have already had um, uh, mortgage applications come in and those mortgage applications came in quite strong. Um, a big rebound in those as folks are trying to rush to get refinanced as those rates um, continue to climb and the FOMC changing policy here next month. So we'll want to keep um, an eye on that. That is a little bit, that's nice, but I think the rush into that could set us up for big declines um, in the weeks ahead um uh, with everyone kind of the last ones in the door uh finally coming in to refinance um so you'll want to watch that carefully and then we have this adp number by the time you watch this video you may already have that adp number that will be uh, our potential market mover for today along with the petroleum status now we do want to think carefully here about that adp and realizing that omicron um, really could have had some impacts on that number. So watch that carefully. The, the government has already, um, they started warning last week that the number here on Friday could be much less um, just simply because of the impacts of that uh, pandemic um, impact so watch that carefully and then keep in mind the petroleum status will be really important today because the oil sector is the one of the most um, show, uh, the one of the sectors of the market showing the most strength so if this shows a decline in supplies that will continue to support those prices if it happens to show a surprise build in supplies remember OPEC has increased pumping a couple of weeks ago and if we have a surprise build in those supplies that could have a negative effect on that oil sector so watch that close and then let's take a quick peek at our economic or our earnings calendar today we have a big day of earnings with uh, about 130 companies reporting and we do have quite a few notables that I will not have time to cover them all um, for sure um, we're gonna hear from um, Aflac we'll hear from Aflac today we're gonna hear from race today we will hear from um, let's see JCI Johnson controls is in there we've got Humana that will be reporting today we're going to hear from eat today um, and after the bell we're going to get some uh, big reports here from facebook facebook will, will be reporting um, we're going to have let's see spotify will be reporting um, this afternoon um, we're also going to hear from Qualcomm. So some pretty good, uh, some pretty big numbers that will be coming out today. We'll want to keep an eye on that and just realize that as these numbers continue to come out, the emotion of the market stays high, volatility stays high, and that makes for some challenging price action. Now, if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning prep. Um, uh, blog post and um, you can catch that full list of notables let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be worthy if you could please do me a favor favor and click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment I truly truly appreciate that it helps the channel to grow we're over 26,000 now so thank you so much to everyone you humble me every day I truly truly appreciate it let's take a look at um, just a, a one other metric you know I had a question yesterday um, um, a question um, Doug do you still believe that the market is overvalued and I have to tell you yes even with the big selling that came into the market I do believe the market is still overvalued if you take a look 
at our PE ratios. Notice that our PE ratios have come down a lot. We've been up near 100% with our PE ratios, but we're here at 80%, and that's 80% above the historical average. So kind of think about that. We are looking at a Fed slowing the economy um, down by increasing um, interest rates. If the economy is going to be slowing, and I'm not, you know, I can't say that that's going to occur, but that's the purpose of raising interest rates is to slow the economy and bring down that rate of inflation, then we are still very overvalued here on our PE ratios. So we can't rule out the possibility that we may not be done with this correction to the downside. I know everyone would like to think, gosh, it's got to stop. All of the selling's got to stop but not necessarily. Um, this actually, um, the way the market is setting up right now is very, very similar to the 2008 sell-off. So kind of watch that carefully as we were approach those resistance levels because we may not be out of the woods just yet. And then there is another measure out there that I think is equally important. When you take a look at the Buffett indicator, the Buffett indicator is a ratio of market value to GDP. And notice in here that we are still 90% um, or 193%, sorry, 193% um, above the historical average um, on that ranking. And that puts us, remember, um, if you look right in here, it says that the market would be fairly valued if we were at 120% on that reading. So with these two metrics, I have to continue to say, yes, I do believe we are still overvalued. So we'll wanna be watching carefully, and particularly in a rising interest rate environment, that we could start slowing down this economy and start running into some problems, maybe some sideways moves um, that could be really challenging with volatility as a matter of fact, there's a story about that on CNBC today from Bank of America. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look here at some of these um, stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, oops, oh, we already did that part. Um, I kind of jumped out of sequence here. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. I placed a new alert yesterday here on VMW. I like this chart. The way VMW is setting up in here, nice little rising uh, pattern here. Notice the volatility in here isn't all that strong. We broke through this le level here and I'd been talking about uh, VMW, but I didn't get the entry in that trade. So I've placed a price alert right here in that chart and I'm looking for this to continue to rest over here toward the trend and I'm going to be looking for that next opportunity to maybe pop into that price action and catch that move. And then um, I have an upside target in here where we could come up here to fill the gap and then maybe even push on through up in here um, or test the resistance of the gap and then push on through up in here to maybe even fill the gap. So keep an eye on VMW. It's looking pretty good overall. As you guys know, I've talked about VALE um, many times here with some alerts that started all the way back in here on VALE. Now we've pushed up through this bigger resistance area in here. We have a really nice looking pattern here consolidating. Yesterday was a good move in VALE. Keep an eye on that I think that possibility that this could push on up um, if we can push through this little resistance area in here that'll be the key we could push on up and then seek out those next levels of resistance in the chart up in here so watch that closely on VALE you might want to take a look at um, some of the stocks like uh, BMY BMY has recovered dramatically here we had that volatility with the sell-off here in the market but recovering nicely and we're holding in this pattern. So nice little resting pattern out here after we challenged that resistance. So we, re we recovered the support in this chart and now we're just kind of resting in here. So watch for that opportunity. If those bulls can come up in here, there might be some good upside opportunity there. And I have to put Merck on that list as well. Merck pushing up here into some um, resistance. And although we have more resistance on this chart than we do BMY, um, nice recovery of support in that chart. 
if we rest in here get a little um, opportunity for that upside move so keep a close eye on those now we've had a lot of stocks just really pushing and spiking back up to the upside and I want to caution on chasing some of those moves we saw some big moves in some of the pay systems like Visa big shooting move to the upside watch this big resistance up here in the chart if we can get a little consolidation or resting period up here then that would set up opportunities in that chart I don't want to chase something that's moved that sharply to the upside so keep a close eye on that you might also keep an eye out for some short trades take a look at GLD here GLD um, we shot up here and it looks like look like we had some opportunity to get things going but boy um, a lot of volatility in here and as you can see we've pushed down sharply rallying back up into price resistance I think this potentially sets up for a short in GLD and you might see the same thing on um, some of the um, minor stocks now NEM is holding above this price support but notice we're consecutively making lower highs here so watch for that possibility that this could fail and start moving on down in that chart and if you guys remember I did talk about um, 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 all of a sudden I'm drawing a blank on the ticker uh, <laughs> <laughs> senior moment I guess this morning I apologize I'll think of it here in just a moment but um, watch watch some of these price patterns because there will be some short patterns setting up here in the market because we've rallied back up into price resistance levels like here in Caterpillar we're following this little downtrend here we've rallied back up watch for those potential failure patterns here in the chart so everyone be a little bit careful and cautious with chasing long trades this morning um, just realize that we will be testing some resistance levels in the chart and that possibility of a little bit of profit taking or a little pullback could come into play pretty easily so with that I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading and I'll see you all right back here bright and early Thursday morning have a good one everyone